You're watching the NBA G League on ESPN+. From the Westchester County Center, the Westchester Knicks host the Greensboro Swarm. Hello, everyone. Welcome, along with Demetrius Nichols, who played in both the NBA and G League. I'm David Resnick. Well, for the Knicks, it has not been a great stretch, especially in February. What have you noticed from the team during this six-game losing streak? It's been a tough month for February. They, are only, they only won one game thus far. But the biggest challenge they have right now is losing Kenny Wooten, obviously losing Ivan Rabb to the USA team. So the lack of size down low is hurting them throughout the game. They're in most of the games that they play, but they really can't finish the way that they're usually used to finishing. So, but the good news is that Ivan Rabb is back. He practiced with the team yesterday. He was at shoot around today. So hopefully his double-double performances on a daily basis can help them tonight. Greensboro will feature one of the most electric players in the G League as of late. Dwayne Bacon has been on assignment from the Charlotte Hornets, and he's been electric offensively, including one game in which he set the single game high this year in the G League with 51 points. Westchester Knicks basketball is brought to you in part by the Westchester Medical Center. Advancing care here. lineups in this evening's contest. Kobe Simmons, Joel Berry the second in the backcourt for Greensboro. The middle will be manned by Thomas Welsh with the aforementioned Dwayne Bacon and Ray Spaulding in the front court. Meanwhile for Westchester, Kadeem Allen out with a concussion. So Lamar Peters will man the point guard spot. Tyler Hall, Ignis Razdakis, Andrew White the third, and Ivan Rabb, who makes his return to the Westchester lineup, rounds out the starting five for the Knicks. I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to match up with Dwayne Bacon, who's going to take that challenge. He's playing like one of the best, best players in this. G League, who's going to take that challenge of locking him up tonight? Knocked out of bounds by the Knicks, apparently. So Greensboro in the gray will start with the first possession. Tennessee Ransom, Matt Callio, and Amy Bonner, our officiating crew. Ransom, an NBA staff official. Here's Bacon wearing zero. It'll take a team effort to slow him down as Barry the second knocks down a triple and opens up the scoring for the Swarm. You said it right. It's going to take a full team effort to stop this guy, Dwayne Bacon. Last game against the LI Nets, they always had two guys defending him at all times. Ivan Rabb in his return to the Westchester lineup scores through Thomas Welsh in his second year out of UCLA. Welcome back home, Ivan Rabb. It's good to see him back here at the Westchester County Center. Kobe Simmons called for the traveling call. Westchester ball trailing by a point. They are losers of six straight. At one point, they were 16 up and 16 down. Now they put themselves in the type of hole that would require a perfect finish to the season to reach the playoffs. Yeah, they really got to lock in from here on out if they want to have a chance to make it to the postseason. Ivan Rabb facing Welsh. That nice. line drive, Jay Falls. From Ivan Rabb coming off USA team with a lot of confidence. I expect him to I expect him to perform well tonight as loose. Lamar Peters gets a steal. He picks up the loose ball. Tyler Hall, trailer off the back of the iron for three. Brasdakis, the offensive rebound and the reset. He'll trigger from deep, that's off. And the rebound is down to Bacon. Simmons straight to the 10, just beating the Westchester defense to the rim. That usually doesn't have it for the Westchester Knicks. They usually are a good, solid transition team. 
Somebody just made a mistake there on defense. Razdakis firing and connecting. It's a three for Iggy. You miss the first one, you make the second one. Regardless, you just keep shooting, yes, right? you gotta keep shooting. Shooters keep shooting. High, low. Welsh spinning on Rab, no. Loose ball, it pops to Simmons. Barry the second off the rim, and it's White the third rebounding. Andrew White the third, too strong. I mean, is there a better label to get than shooter? Oh, because man, then you're just allowed to shoot. Especially if you have the right coach that loves to shoot the three ball. Is that it's something, a, it's in, a, that's like an introduction. Like, hey, I'm Demetrius, I'm a like shooter. It's a shooter's dream to have a coach that loves shooting. <laughs> now, I'd imagine yeah. there's a problem as Bacon mm -hmm. attempts his first shot where if you believe you're a shooter, but your mm -hmm. coach doesn't. Oh yeah, that, yeah, it is a problem, <laughs> it is a problem. And I've been on situations, teams like that where you know, some coaches like to throw it inside and and give the big a touch or play through the big. Uh, but I've been fortunate enough to play on great teams where all my coaches love to shoot that three ball. Nick's up by two. D Nick, what do you think is important for tonight? There's three things. First one, first things first, defend. Dwayne Bacon. He's averaging 40 points per game in the last four games. You've got to have two guys defending him at all times because he can go off for 20 points in one quarter. Secondly is attack. This Greenboro team is a not so good transition team. They're not a good pick and roll team. So if you can attack going downhill, making plays in the paint for yourself or others. And lastly, get multiple stops, turning your defense into offense. Recently, even though the Westchester Knicks haven't won the past six games, whenever they go on these multiple stops defensively, they get confidence. So those are the three as Iggy knocks down his second three-point shot. 10-2 run for Westchester to double up Greensboro prior to the Ray Spalding bank shot. Former second-round draft pick out of Louisville who was picked up mid-season by Charlotte on a two-way deal. Yeah, Ray Spalding is a, is, a, is a heck of a player. Simmons right down Central Avenue. And that's the second time Simmons found the basket in transition. Somebody has to stop him early knowing that that's what he likes to do. Get easy buckets. He's averaging 17 points per game. And that's part of his average is getting transition buckets. Peters off the dribble. Now it's Iggy. Closely guarded by Spalding. Peters on the drive, gets all the way in for nice. two. Taking the big defender out on the three-point line. Let him know that you can't guard me out here as he makes a turnover also. Spalding, that is. Bacon, who is just coming in at a ridiculous clip in terms of his scoring. Man. Dwayne Bacon has only attempted one shot. He has not scored games of 51, 44, 40, and 23 Man. since being assigned by Charlotte after the All-Star break. What a finish, Peters! Yes. Peters using his quickness to get to the cup, finishing over the towers down there. There's a mismatch here on, oh, three seconds call. Defensive three seconds. And that brings us in a while. to a media <laughs> timeout. Let's see what else we could cook up as we roll right along in the opening quarter from the county center. Lamar Peters using his quickness, getting to the cup, taking the bigger defender off the dribble. Good job by Lamar Peters.
Back here inside of the county center where Westchester enjoys an early five point lead. Greensboro scores more and gives up more. Both these teams towards the top in three point shooting and in taking care of the basketball. But something that you notice is that Greensboro is gonna play a bit faster than Westchester on average. So that's at least part of the overall point per game and opponent point per game numbers. Dwayne Bacon makes and takes the technical free throw that was assessed because of Westchester's defensive three second call prior to the timeout. Let's reset the Westchester roster. Tim Bond replaces Lamar Peters. Zach Irvin has come in for Andrew White III. Iggy Bradsdakis, Tyler Hall, and Ivan Rabb still remain. So far, Westchester has been doing a, great, a really good job of, you know, forcing the whole team to guard Dwayne Bacon, forcing them to take tough shots. Iggy sizing up Welsh. Locates Hall. Three to shoot. Iggy fading away, got it. He has done a much better job of trusting his teammates yes. that the ball will come back if mm -hmm. that's the right play. Yes, it does, it does. And the ball usually finds energy. Look, exactly. So, <laughs> ball finds the guy who plays with the most energy. And Iggy, as of late, has been playing at a very, very high level. One of the best scorers in the G League with an early eight midway through the opening quarter. Good He'll pump. take Spalding off the dribble Good and bank fake. it in. Use the pump fake. That happened. He was able to get to the basket by using just a slight, a slight ball fake. Iggy got knocked down. And you hear Coach Austin telling Tim Bond to go and double whenever Dwayne Bacon gets the ball down low. Iggy a bit shaken up, but runs back down offensively. Bond off the dribble, looks back door to Hall. Uh, Iggy will take a seat. Ivan Rab will sub out. JJ Moore is in. Andrew White, the third, returns. Westchester playing a bit shorthanded, no Kenny Wooten. It was announced by the New York Knicks that he had surgery it's on a, Monday. It's a tough break. You know, Kenny Wooten has been playing, has been playing so well, or was playing so well, just to have surgery in his season. Hopefully he can come back even better. Simmons gets all the way to the cup again. Wooten on a two-year, two-way deal, so he'll still be under contract with the New York Knicks on that two-way deal entering next year. He missed eight games with a hand injury, came back for a contest as Moore lays it in, and now will miss significant time after a different hand injury caused him to need surgery. Ah. Welsh inside position and a nice pass to set him up. That was a great high-low pass to Welsh. Somebody on the back end, in the back corner, has to be be there for that lob. Great ball movement, and it's Irvin slashing in. He's such a good piece for this team because you don't really have to run a play for guys like Zach Irvin, who, who likes to cut to the basket and get easy points that way. Bacon off the dribble and one. So, so. Hit on the arm by White the third. This kid Bacon plays at his own pace, 6'6", really strong, uses both hands. Bacon, a volume shooter, volume scorer. His first assignment of the season from Charlotte. He's now played in three pro seasons, all of them with the Charlotte franchise, and has spent time in the G League in all three years now. White the third is open off the rim. And Bacon actually asked to come back down to the G League just to get some reps in, just to have a good rhythm going into the summertime as he uses his shiftiness to use the reverse layup. 
Timeout taken by Westchester as Bacon back-to-back -back buckets. The lead has slipped to just one. Back here inside the Westchester County Center and continuing on something you said earlier, D-Nick, about Dwayne Bacon, a player who went to his club about a month ago and wanted to earn an assignment or get an assignment to the G League. And he had five, did not play coach's decisions in a previous nine game stretch leading up. Mm -hmm. And here was a guy that saw the value in the G League and getting those minutes and trying to get back in rhythm because he wasn't getting time in the NBA. Yes, and it's all about reps. Trying to get as much reps as you can, showing not just the team that you're playing for, but other teams in the NBA, what you're capable of doing as Ivan Rab showing his confidence with a two-hand slam. But you want to continue to play at a high level and here coming down to the G League was, is, it's such a great resource for guys like Dwayne Bacon to get those reps and, and stay confident. And in the four games he's played, he's averaged nearly 40 minutes a game as that one is short. He initiated the assignment. That yeah. never happens. A player never. that started the year in the starting lineup, moved to the bench, missed some time with an injury. Right. The fact that he wanted it as Rab has continued his Man. torrid start Confidence. says a lot about Bacon as Rab will have a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's, he's definitely playing with a lot of confidence, Ivan Rab, coming back from the USA team. And I'm pretty sure he wants to take his game to another level. Rab completes the three-point play. He went into his time playing for Team USA on a double-double roll. And Protecting the rim there against Simmons. It's down to Welsh, who forces it up. No, and Rab finally clears the possession. Zach Irvin, Euro nice. step to the left hand. Yeah, nice. As he looks at his teammates. That was a nice move. Bacon driving in against White the third. Great defense by Drew. That is great defense. And he did it on his own without the help there. And Andrew White kept him on one side, forced him to use his left hand. They are going after Welsh. Rab, offensive rebound. It was wise to know that it was last touched by Dante Ingram, and he'll stay with the Knicks. And that's a matchup for Ivan Rab. J.J. Moore to, to, to continue to go at Welsh, knowing that he can't guard them out on the three-point line. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Peters kick out. Rab wants three. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Give him three. <laughs> Give him three. <laughs> He's hot. Yeah. I mean, that goes beyond a member's yes. bounce. Listen, those are the ones. Those are the ones as a shooter when they're not supposed to go in and they still go in, they give you so much confidence. Simmons the answer. Simmons is, is smooth. 
get to the basket. He can shoot the three. Knicks were on a 10-0 run prior to the bucket from Simmons. Bullet pass inside to the cutting, wipe the third. A terrific delivery by Lamar Peters, who's one of the best in the league in assists. Great job by the Westchester Knicks and Andrew White. Instead of sitting in the corner waiting for Lamar Peters to make a play for him, he made a play by cutting to the basket, and Lamar Peters found him. Ivan Rabb has started five of five from the field. Ah. Perhaps the rebound there is Henderson misses. Terry Henderson in his third year out of NC State has checked in for Greensboro. Peters Look at the hustle. diving for it after he lost it. Nice. Finds White the third. Irvin one. cutting in and scores with the contact from behind. Knicks have beaten Greensboro three times this season, including a date at the G League Showcase in Vegas. So they're playing for the fourth time this year, one more than they were originally scheduled. Good pass. To J.J. Moore, it's a triple. Lamar Peters getting, in, getting inside the blue, below the free throw line, forcing the defense to collapse. J.J. Moore has a wide open three in the corner. 17 to three, Westchester run since Coach D.A. asked for time. Lamar Peters called for the foul with just five seconds to go. First foul under two minutes against the Knicks. They had one to give, not that they were intending to do so. Westchester with an opportunity here to close out a terrific start to this contest with a defensive stop. Uh-oh. Peters, the seal, eyes the clock. Nice. Oh, my God. And in between a dunk and a lay-in, he got nothing. As we would call that, in my neighborhood, we'll call that, he smoked that one. He just smoked it. In my neighborhood, they would go, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man, look at this. A lot of great hustle. Yes by the Knicks, and they had a chance at an exclamation point to end. They lead big after one. Where's Westchester is a question we like to ask every game. And why don't we check in with Isaiah Hicks, who played the part of two seasons here in Westchester on a two-way deal. 64 total games, and he's second all-time in franchise history in rebounds. 
played 21 games with the Knicks, then Summer League with Charlotte oh. before ending up in Russia this Avador. season. Yes. He's a North Carolina native. Mm -hmm. He won a national championship at UNC with Joel Berry. He signed his first professional contract with the Charlotte Hornets before his two-way deal with the New York Knicks. So some nice synergy for the choice of Isaiah Hicks as Westchester plays the affiliate of the Charlotte Hornets. And I always love your reaction <laughs> when you see where the players currently end up. I do. Because it's a country or a league yes. that you're familiar <laughs> with. Is yes, Bond, and I'm definitely, one of, I'm definitely familiar with one of those, well, the city that he's playing in now in Russia. I actually had an offer to go there this year, but I didn't want to go because I know <laughs> so much about the city and it's it's you, you know it's very I very tough to live in that Isaiah. area of Russia you know I didn't have his number to call him but if I did you know I'll definitely let him know but you know it's a you know it's a tough situation but I'm pretty sure he's going to help himself and uh, continue to get better and hopefully you know sign with Cheska or Kimki you know one of the best teams in Russia We'll see, see, is that the, uh, I know you, you played with Cheska. Cheska. Is, that, uh, is that in the same league? As yep, yep same league. Right, it's the VTB league. league. Russia, right? yep, yeah. yep, top league in Russia. Uh, you have Cheska, Kimki, um, uh, Unix, you know, some of the top leagues in Europe. With uh, Globe, Trotter, Demetrius <laughs> Nichols, I'm David Resnick. Here in White Plains, you can find that on the map just above <laughs> New York City playing in the G League, the second best league in North America. Yes, it is. 14-point lead for the Westchester Knicks. It was a one-point game about midway through. Derek Alston called timeout, un displeased with Westchester's play, and the Knicks went on a run. Long rebound collected, another three fired. That missed worse than the first one. But another offensive rebound until it's coughed up. J.J. Moore in transition, attacking the rim and draws the foul. Good job by Westchester. Half court defense, turning their defense into easy points, easy to offense. You know, for a team that doesn't play all that fast and typically does not get transition opportunities. Westchester has done a real cognizant job of getting out and run. They do, but they have to capitalize and making your free throws. You know, you gotta make your free throws. Take your time, get on the line, hold the follow through. Odiasi is checked in, gets his own miss, and lay it, lays it in. That's Ty Odiasi out of Illinois, Chicago. He's a hustle player. He's going to crash the boards every time he gets a chance to. He's going to play solid defense. He's going to protect the paint. Good to see Iggy back out there after he left with an injury in that first quarter. The foul is called on Josh Dawson. So the lineup for Westchester, Zach Irvin, Iggy Brazdakis, J.J. Moore, Tim Bond, and Ivan Rabb. So a couple of bigs in there for the Knicks with Moore playing the four after manning the middle with Rabb and Wooten out. Bond shuffled the feet. He gets called for the travel. Josh Perkins, Terry Henderson, Dante Ingram, Ty Odiasi, and Josh Dawson, the five on the floor for the Swarm. Mm -hmm. And these 10 guys that are out here right now, these are all guys that can play solid defense on one another. Uh, I think both coaches kind of have that strategy where we're trying to get as much stops as we possibly can with the lineups that they have out there now. Lofted inside, Rab broke it up. Moore saved it on the baseline. Zach Irvin pushing the pace. Rab facing up, stripped. Now that's a, now, now I'm looking at Coach Derek Austin. He's telling the official, the defender can't have his hand stretched all the way out. That is considered a foul. You have to have a, you know, a forearm out, but you can't extend your arm playing defense. That should have been a foul for Ivan Rab. Let's go, 
first miss in six attempts for Rab, who also is perfect from the foul line. Ooh. From one side to the other hey, for Josh back, Perkins. Back row, back row. Josh Perkins, I think he surprised everyone out here with that layup. I thought he was gonna dribble it back out and he was able to find the basket. Bond dribbled into his own man and that affected the rhythm of his shot. Henderson into the front court. Good seal by the big fella. Odiasi taking Iggy to the rim. And that's what Odiasi is gonna do. He's gonna run from rim to rim, get in front of the basket and ask for the ball. And then he was able to seal the small defender and Iggy for the easy two. A 15 point lead at one point has been trimmed to just eight as the bench unit for Greens Greensboro has led a comeback here in the county center. Throughout February, the NBA celebrates Black History Month by honoring those who paved the way for future generations. That tradition continues through league-wide efforts to bring people together and take action in our communities. Share how you are honoring Black History using hashtag BHM. Forty-one thirty-three, the lead for Westchester. Ivan Rab has led the way for the Knicks. He's got 12 points. So too does Ignis Brazdakis, and both are on the floor out of the timeout. Lamar Peters uses the high screen. It's slipped to Rab, who takes the bump and puts it in. He's been playing with such a toughness since his return to the Knicks. That was a great play out of the time on pick and roll with him and Lamar Peters. Pick and roll, Ivan Rab dives, easy two. Ingram launching and connecting. Dante Ingram knocks down a three, staring at a seven point game with eight minutes to play in the first half. This is not a three point shooting team, but they already have four so far in the game. Peters stepping back. Dawson, and now Henderson, extra pass. Terrific transition ball movement leading to the Odiasi slam. Yeah, they're really getting to the basket easily in transition. Like I, I mentioned earlier, Westchester is usually a, a good, solid transition defensive team. Guys have to get back and get in front of their their players. Off the dribble. Iggy misses wildly. Hall tries to take it away. Still the second unit is out there for Greensboro. Odiasi, no. Ingram crashing the offensive glass. And this group that's out here right now, Ingram, Odiasi, these guys are out hustling the Westchester Knicks right now. Westchester has to match their intensity. It was a 15 point game at the end of the first quarter in Westchester's favor.
That pocket pass disrupted, but Odiasi scoops it up and heads to the line to shoot one free throw worth two. And it's a good foul by Ivan Rabb. Odiasi is only a 53% free throw shooter. Anytime he's in a situation to foul, they should foul him. Join the team in early December from the av available player, player pool. Played last year in Greece after he was undrafted in 2018. Four-year college player, now 24 years old in his second pro season. Peters! Oh, that was fancy. <laughs> Way to redeem yourself. Right? After you can missing make the that, last but one. not the Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh. Numbers. Three on two. Peters creating the space for Iggy. Got it. Ignis Brad Dakis knocks down the triple. Yes. And that's a play that every team on every level in basketball works on. Three on two, two on one, fast break. You've got to get something out of that because you have the advantage. Iggy knocking it down from the corners. Third triple for Iggy. Timeout breeze for us. Left. 6.03 remaining, left. second quarter. And coming up at halftime. And that is that. All right, we'll here we go. Down to speak the with now. assistant coach Two Alan Deep. See what his deep thoughts are. Oh, that was a right there, and right? a conversation oh. with Ivan Rabb, oh. fresh off of his time right, with Team USA. Real interesting to hear his perspective on his time wearing a red, white, and blue and for competing for his country under the leadership of Mike Fratello. So far, so good for the Westchester Knicks. Up by six. Off target. Perkins got his own miss. Too strong off the glass. White the third, the rebound. And Joe Wolf, the second year head coach for Greensboro, has stuck with this second unit. Yeah, and this is the unit that, you know, that plays solid D. And they're gonna play hard as Iggy knocks down another three from the same spot. Iggy with four first half three pointers. Yes. Knocked free, but recovered by Dawson. Iggy, the long rebound. Goes behind the back. Now it's Peters with the handle. Peters. Yes, sir. Nice. Gives the crowd a mean mug. Letting the crowd know that's what I do. Looked right at DA <laughs> and said, I'm a shooter. I'm going to keep shooting. Step back jumper. DA couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> it's, been the, it's been a long season for this coaching staff yes. with this young group. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. So every day, every game, every practice is an opportunity for everyone to to get better and improve. And I'm pretty sure they want to 
to finish out this month on a high note. Peters was fouled. Iggy Brasdakis already with 18 points in this first half on four three-pointers. In his previous three games, he had not hit 20, the 20-point 20 plateau, just too shy of that with 431 remaining in the half. Kobe Simmons and Dwayne Bacon re-enter the lineup for Greensboro. So a couple of starters back out there for the Swarm. And I believe that they're in because Coach Wolf wants them to finish off the second quarter on the high note going into halftime. Right in, in the post. To Bacon with the mismatch over Peters. And somebody on Westchester has to see that matchup early and talk and communicate. It was a matchup problem immediately as soon as the ball got in the bounds. Somebody has to switch or, or come double team and help Lamar Peters down there. But he can't convert. Approaching the four minute mark, Peters in tandem with Moore. JJ for three, yes. got it. Westchester is really taking advantage of the transition pick and roll defense by Greensboro, knowing that they're not as good as they should be. Every time they come down the floor, they want to pick and roll and find the mismatch, finding JJ Moore for the three. 60% from the field, 50 from deep. JJ wants three more. Short. Iggy battling for the rebound, but he was last to knock it out of bounds. Joel Berry, the second return. Zach Irvin was too late to the scorer's table, so he'll take a seat. Joel Berry, North Carolina grad. And he was a pretty good college player. First team all ACC. Transition. Peters speeding forward. Dawson Great just job. has to reach his hand out. Great job. You can tell that Westchester is making a focal point of pushing the ball, getting the ball off the rim and transition. Even though, like you mentioned, they're not playing, they don't play fast usually, but against this swarm team, that's an advantage that they can take advantage of. Good job so far by Lamar Peters in Westchester. Returning to the game for the Westchester Knicks, number seven, Zach Irvin. And into the game for the Westchester Knicks, number four. Zach Irvin, Irvin returns Hinton. to the lineup. Amir Hinton gets his first run with three minutes to go in the first half. Oh. Knicks have built their lead back up to 15. Barry, no. Good swipe by Lamar Peters. J.J. Moore starting to break. Moore came down with it, should have been a travel. Unless they consider that a shot. Good minutes by J.J. Moore. Maybe not should have been a travel, but could have been one. Yes. If it was not deflected or not deemed to be a shot. Free throws, free throws. And young boys and girls, make your free throws. It's free money. Bacon crossing over on Iggy. Rab in the paint. Good job swarming Bacon there. Now Peters to Hinton. A little too much action going on there in ah. close quarters, but it stays with the Knicks. Peter's wishing that he saw Amir hinting a little bit early for the two-on-one fast break, but he kind of kind of saw the pass late. Slipped inside, Rab. Set up there by Iggy off the inbounds. Good pocket pass by Iggy. Results in the largest lead of the night for Westchester. 
to 20 to go. Simmons stepping through and scores at the rim. The third year pro out of Arizona has played for three different franchises so far in his young career. He's a silent assassin already here with 11. NBA experience with Memphis, Cleveland, and Charlotte. Irvin. Under two minutes left. Simmons. Good defense. Ivan Rab pushing, starting to break. Iggy launches inside for a Michigan connection to Irvin. Nick's extending its largest lead. It is a 17 point game. When the Knicks went back to their starters, that's when things really turned around. Yeah, they're really punishing the Greensboro Storm. Whenever they get the ball in transition, they want to push it, they want to go downhill, whether getting to the free throw line, oh, I'm sorry, getting to the basket or getting a wide open three. Iggy laughing that he got a rebound taken away from his stat sheet. <laughs> Rab floats it in. Knicks getting a ton of looks at the rim. Foul there. Hinton into the passing lane and lays it in. Hinton one-ups Peters at the rim with LP looking on from the bench. Berry pull up, swish. Joel Berry the second knocks it down from the mid-range. Hinton, feet set, launching a three that's off the rim. Wiggins initially having trouble securing it. Hey. Two and a half second difference between game and shot clock. Berry will allow it to drain to eight before making his move. Drives right at Brasdakis, who gets discarded, no whistle. Right back the other way, Tim Bond will pull up for a three that is off the front of the rim to end the half. 17 point game at the break. Knicks fell behind early, went on a run. Greensboro came back to start the second, but a strong close by Westchester into the locker room. Let's send it over to Deanick. Here with Coach Allen Deep. Coach, how important is it to have Ivan Rabb back into the lineup? Oh, he just brings so many things to the table, so many intangibles. We've got a little bit of rim protection, somebody that rebounds the ball consistently, and just plays the right way. High level IQ guy. Second half, what do you tell your team going into the second half, making sure that they keep their foot on the gas? So for the past five, six games, right, we've had leads and we let teams get back in and for some reason our intensity goes down when we have a lead. We just got to stay on top of them that when we have that lead, put the pressure on more so that we continue to keep it. Thanks, Coach. Good luck in the second half. Thank you. Back with more after this on ESPN+. Plus.
Westchester Knicks basketball is brought to you in part by the Westchester Medical Center. Advancing care here. And back here inside of the Westchester County Center, it is halftime between Westchester and Greensboro. Our guest at this time is Ivan Rabb, fresh off of his stint with Team USA, a couple of victories against Puerto Rico. I guess first, as somebody who has played for the United States before U16 and U17, what is that experience like playing for your country? Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, the challenge of coming together and and putting a team together in such a sh short amount of time is um, is challenging. But I mean, we spent a lot of time together, um, tried to learn learn each other as best we could before we stepped out there, and we, we played well. It's a thrill, but it's a sacrifice knowing that you had given up time during the All Star break. What um, was part of the decision making process for you to accept their invitation? Uh, I think the biggest thing was I just knew I could learn so much from from the coaches there and, and the guys like the team, my teammates and stuff. So. I just feel like um, to sacrifice that time at home and, and try to learn and improve my game was, was important, and um, I'm, I'm glad I made that decision. You mentioned how you have a group of guys that don't know each other. You get about a week to practice in two games against a, a national program where the majority of the roster has played together for a long time. H how do you come together like that? Um, I mean, it just takes a lot of sacrifice. That's what the whole USA basketball is about, um, sacrificing for each other, sacrificing for the country, um, trying our best to win. So. Um, that's I was what we did. We came out with two wins, and uh, it was fun. You talked about the practice. Uh, the team was led by Mike Fratello, longtime yeah. NBA coach, in terms of games and, and victories. What was it like learning from him? Um, man, it was you could just see the wisdom. So, as soon as he walked in the room, like he, you could tell that he really knew what he was talking about when he spoke to us. So, whenever he talked, everybody was all ears. Um, we all came to learn, and um, I feel like we left with a, a lot of new, new knowledge. The United States took down Puerto Rico in a couple of games. When we return, we'll talk about the performance of Ivan in those two victories.
Halftime inside of the county center between Westchester and Greensboro, and we continue our conversation with Ivan Rabb, who just played a couple of games with Team USA and a, and a couple of victories. You were part of a center rotation with Eric Mika of Stockton. How do you assess your performance and contributions? Um, I feel like me and Mika both did a good job um, of coming in and doing what they asked of us, um, trying to do it the best to the best of our abilities. I feel like obviously we had we had more stuff offensively we could have done, but in order to win the games, we had to, you know, buy in. So I feel like we did a great job of doing that. First game was down in San Juan. You guys jumped on the Puerto Ricans, but they made a second half comeback, yeah. and that arena really started to erupt. Yeah. What was it like playing down there? Man, it was fun. It was just so loud. Like, their, their, their fan support was great. Um, it was unbelievable, like, to come out. And we knew from the first half to the second half they would be louder. Puerto Rico would play a lot harder, like, press more. And everything that we said was going to happen, it happened. And the fans came alive and couldn't even hear ourselves. Like, it was fun, though. And then this past Sunday, playing in D.C., Coach Fratello talked about how you guys needed to be ready to play against a team that just lost, and yet you jumped on them again in the first quarter. How'd you guys do it? Man, we had uh, we had a lot of vets in that first in the first group, and um, they came out ready to play. Um, they showed their experience and their poise, like they knew what the objective was, and they went out and took care of it. And the second unit just came in and tried to finish them off. So, but we worked well together all week. Still undefeated in the red, white, and blue. How does that feel? <laughs> Feels great. It means uh, when, when I know how to buy in and, and win and stuff like that. So. I want to keep that going and uh, bring it here. You've done such a great job learning from an experience and a setback earlier this season, and you've seemed to be one that in your young career has taken an opportunity and grown from it. Right. How do you think that what you've gone through the past seven to ten days will improve you as a basketball player? Um, I'm just going to try to use the stuff that I learned and bring it here and try to change the culture just a little bit or enhance the culture some more. And I'm um, just trying to lead by example and with my voice a little bit more. And um, that's do, do all I can to, to help uh, win games. Ivan, congratulations. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ivan Rabb coming off of a stint with Team USA. A couple of victories for the United States or over Puerto Rico. Our coverage of Westchester and Greensboro continues next on ESPN+. Plus.
And back here inside of the Westchester County Center, 67-50 is the lead for the Knicks. And a strong start, a strong finish for Westchester as we look back to the first half where Ivan Rab and Iggy Brazdakis led the way with 18 points each. And for Rab, it was on eight of nine shooting. Yes, Rab is definitely playing with a lot of confidence. And that's what happens when you leave the USA team, come back home to Westchester, and now you're giving yourself confidence, giving your team confidence, and he's doing a great job. Iggy is playing, playing very, very well, 18 points four from seven from the three-point line. Uh, they're doing a great job, but the Greensboro Storm has gotten to it, gotten inside the paint a lot, a little bit too much, and Westchester really has to tighten up that part of their defensive game plan if they want to win this game tonight. Lamar Peters in that first half just had an extra gear at times. Nick lead by 17, shot 58% from the field, 42 from three. They were out-rebounded by Greensboro. Part of that was the nine offensive boards that the Swarm had. Out of the 11 turnovers committed by Greensboro, Nine of them were Westchester Steelers. Nick's doing a nice job taking care of the ball, something that they've been very proficient in throughout the season. Yes, they're really, really taking care of the ball. Guys are not forcing the passes, but going back to the rebounding, Greensboro Storm has nine offensive rebounds, and they didn't capitalize on them, thank God, because the Westchester Knicks probably would have been in trouble. So Westchester has to clean that up in the second half, forcing the Storm to one shot, getting the rebound, starting the fast break. We told you at the beginning of the contest that this was a matchup of two of the teams with the fewest number of turnovers per game. And it's been Westchester that has held up its end of the bargain in that respect. Andrew White the third opens up the scoring with the bucket. He's on the floor with Tyler Hall, Lamar Peters, Iggy and Rab, the starting five for the Knicks. Dwayne Bacon misfiring. Long rebound out to Tyler Hall, who leaves it for White the third. Brazdakis with 18 points in that first half, now 20 as he slashes inside for two. That was a great ball fake. So now when you put the ball over your head, the defense is usually gonna try to shadow the ball. Now you can go right by him. And that's what happened there. Ray Spaulding knocks down the jumper. He's out on the floor with Dwayne Bacon, Kobe Simmons, Joel Berry, and Thomas Welsh. Ivy to the left hand, gets his own miss that. over Simmons. Hustle. Didn't like the first, so he made sure he got the second. Hustle. Now he's to 20 points to co-lead with Iggy. Ivan Rab, ever since, you know, we continue to talk about it, ever since he came back to the team a couple of weeks ago. He's just shown this desire and focus and determination that he's gonna try to be the best player defensively and offensively every time he gets out there on the court. And he's definitely, definitely helping himself this year and for the future. You know, it's something that Coach Alston has told these guys down the stretch as they've lost six in a row. He mentioned before the game as Welsh pots it in that the consistency hasn't been there. And he told the guys, regardless of what the outcome of this season is, and regardless of what our record currently is, mm -hmm. you're playing right now for your future. Yes, exactly. And so everybody's watching, or at least somebody's always watching. Mm -hmm. And the way you play, the way you perform, the effort you give will be the difference between getting to the point where you hope you'll be next year or staying stagnant. Always, I'm sorry. 
I always say the lights are always on. You know, being in a big, you know, being in one of the greatest cities in America, New York, people are always watching. And as Lamar Peters shows the crowd something special, <laughs> that was tough. But try to defend that one. Exactly. Like you mentioned, it doesn't matter what the score is, who's playing, who's not. You are playing for your future, whether it's in the NBA, whether it's a contract for another D-League team, or even in Europe. Everybody's watching. Everybody can watch film through the websites, MSG, ESPN+. Plus. Traveling violation against White the third. You know, the, the thing obviously is you don't want the game in which you didn't give it your all, no. be the one that the scouts find. Exactly, exactly. You always want to play every game like it's your last. And that's what I've learned getting older as a player. As you get older, you appreciate the game a little bit more because you know the clock is ticking. You know, you're not going to be able to dunk all the time or, or, or play at a high pace or play with energy all the time. So you got to play like this is your last last game that you're going to play. Some guys get it, some guys don't. It's usually, it's usually the older guys who understand that philosophy. You sound very wise right now. Are you one of the older guys? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Wells knocks oh, down a man. three. I've done it. I've seen it. I've done it. Heard it. I've wore many hats. Winter hats. Yeah, oh, man. He's playing in Russia. Really, I'm sure. <laughs> really. <laughs> Russia, Syracuse. You deserve a nice tropical climate. Man, did you? Fifth triple of this game. Yes. Wow. Thomas Wells sealed as soon as the ball came into bounds for the Greensboro Storm. Thomas Wells sealed when the ball was pushing up and he just. The passer was able to give it to him, and he's able to have the easy two. Good cut, good finish by Andrew White the third. White the third has looked yeah. for the lanes. He's a lot moving. More he's than moving he without before. the ball, you know, and and that's and that's a different way to score. You know, we all know you're a spot up shooter, but can you get other buckets in other situations? And he's done that thus far tonight. Hall was out of control when he made the pass. Rab. Coming back to defend, pokes it free. Three on up, one. Up and down we go. Peters beats set. Ah. Three is off target. Welsh the rebound. The outlet to Simmons. He races forward and gets tangled up. And I know the game of basketball has changed. I know guys like to shoot threes, but that's a situation where you want to lay up in that situation. It's a three on one situation. If you make it, that's a great shot. But if you miss it, you know, it's just a, it's just a, you know, a bad opportunity, you know, that that you don't take advantage of. Simmons in a ton of pain. Not sure if this is ankle or his knee. The call on the floor is a common foul. The call on the floor is a common foul. Against Andrew White the third. The officials will take a look. White the third, it looked like, from my angle, he was trying to catch Simmons in the air. He wasn't trying to hurt him or, you know, do any damage that way. Officials will see if there was a legitimate play at the ball. I think this might be one of those occasions where the call is correct, mm -hmm. but given the after effects of the contact, you just want to make sure that there wasn't anything nefarious in that play. Yeah. And it also truthfully gives Simmons an extra minute or two. Mm -hmm. And he's still on the floor, so that that's not a good sign. You know, usually guys get up or walk on their own or but I'm not sure if he landed on his foot.
19 point lead for Westchester. Our officials are conferencing. Yeah, Tennessee Ransom, Matt Callio, yeah. Amy Bonner. Yeah, he's really, really hurt. And you hate to see guys like Simmons get hurt. He was having a good game so far. He was getting into the lane, hit a couple of threes. I hope he is healthy and he's able to return, whether in this game or the rest of the season. Foul on the floor is confirmed. After official review, the call on the floor of a permanent foul is confirmed. If Simmons cannot shoot the free throws, he cannot return to the game. It doesn't look like he will. And DA will then have the opportunity to choose anybody on the Greensboro side to shoot the free throws. I would go with. Odiasi. Looks like they'll have Wiggins shoot the free throw. Wiggins. They had a little little conference. Mm -hmm. Checking the old stat sheet. Seeing what they uh, came up with. In that situation, you have to pick somebody that's already out on the floor, the starting five, or can you pick somebody off the bench? Anybody on the roster. Oh, okay. Fifty percent free throw shooter, but. Oh wow! So he's worse than. Odiasi. Eleven of twenty-two on the season. One free throw worth two, and Wiggins knocked it in. And this is a guy that only averages seven minutes per game, three points, three rebounds. Catch and Good shoot, lead. Brad Dakis. Still in rhythm. Yes. He knocks down the three. And a timeout taken by Greensboro as the lead extends to 20. Yes. Iggy using his legs, holding it. Hold that follow. Back here inside of the Westchester County Center. Can't ignore Ignis. First round draft pick. Or a draft pick of Westchester in 2019. Nine games at the NBA level this year and one of the best scorers in the G League this season. It's a 
tonight Iggy has his legs. He's shooting the ball very, very well. Six for nine from the three. You know, he, he seems like he has an extra pep in his step whenever he shoots the long ball. Greensboro Storm continues to try to post Dwayne Bacon getting the call on Andrew White the third. So far, the Westchester Knicks as a group have done a great job on Dwayne Bacon. He only has eight points thus far. And this is a guy that averages 40. <laughs> Peters probing. Andrew White, the third, missing. So Kobe Simmons is out of the game. This is Welsh underneath. Nice pivot in the post against Rab. Great big to big pass. Spalding finding his fellow big Welsh for the easy two. Welsh does a great job of sealing his defender, getting the ball on a lot pass. Peters, the handles. Cannot convert. Here's Spalding leading the break. Bumping into White the third. This is Terry Henderson pulling up. No. Spalding on the offensive glass puts it back in. Spalding a solid, solid player. 58% from the two. Off the dribble, heat check for Iggy. Bacon couldn't finish. Three on two. Good pass. Skip to White the third. He'll drive in. One more Rab underneath automatic. Good job. Now, that was a great example of sharing the ball. Lamar Peters could have shot it. He passes it to his teammate, Andrew White. Gives it back to him. Great team effort finding each other for the easy two, Ivan Rav. a Westchester lead in the third quarter inside of the Westchester County Center. Thanks so much for joining us on this Wednesday evening in the last week of February on ESPN+. Plus. During the timeout, a technical foul was issued to Dwayne Bacon. Both his coach, Joe Wolf, and Bacon were complaining about the lack of foul call on his <laughs> last drive and Bacon was assessed the technical. Andrew White the third knocks down the free throw. And possession retained by Greensboro. 
It's been a rough go for the Swarm, 8 and 30 overall. They've lost their last three, which means Bacon has not won a game yet in his return to the G League. Bacon. But he has put on a show. <laughs> he has put on a show. <laughs> Oh, Everything. he scores. Man, man. He, he, he scores the ball. You he ever is. score 51 in a game? Nope. The most I've ever in a D-League at 43, maybe. Really? 43, yeah. Joel let you shoot that much? Oh, yeah. I mean. You know, I'm going to ask listen, Coach Abelson if you're a shooter listen, or not. If you got shooter treatment. First team all D-League. I mean, I know I know what your <laughs> baseball card on the back of your card <laughs> says. I mean, I could read the bio. Yeah, yeah. No, but. Yeah, he definitely let me shoot. I mean, I was a shooter. You know? Bacon is mad. Yes. He, 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 he's going to start cooking because, like I said, the Knicks have been doing a good job of containing him. And he's definitely going to want to show out. I don't think Iggy's mad, but that's a nice try. No. <laughs> you know, Iggy is, is continuing to do what Iggy does. Spalding caps it alive, but it's down to Irvin. White the third, travel. That's the second travel for Andrew White. He's really tried to change up his game tonight. Not just be a spot shooter, but mm -hmm. cut, work off the ball, try to vary his offensive attack. He's doing a good job. He just has to remember to put the ball on the floor before he takes that step because the officials tonight are really, really looking at the travels. It's a point of emphasis in the NBA, and that sure has trickled down. Mm -hmm. I mean, guy's been traveling for years. How do you ask a man to change something that he's been doing over 20 years? I mean, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but rules are rules. I, I think, though, a small sample size, uh, about two-thirds of the home schedule is complete as Barry knocks down the runner. I think the traveling calls have decreased, not because they're not looking for it, but the players have adjusted. Yeah, you got to. I think it also helps that there's a lot of young pros on the team, mm -hmm. whereas they're used to it being called tighter at the NCAA level. Right. Stays with Westchester. I know in Europe, when I first went over to Europe, I used to get a travel call every, every game, at least one or two travel calls per game, because I was so used to just going to the basket, playing how I used to play in the D-League or in college. <laughs> you were so used to taking four <laughs> steps. <and> now <laughs> no, 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 not, not four steps. But instead of... The shuffle. You were yeah, used to the shuffle. Yeah, exactly. Like, like put, you'll, you'll put the ball on the deck eventually. Ex eventually. Take two <laughs> steps first. <laughs> but like you said, I had to adjust. Three twenty to go, third quarter. Good pass, good cut. Irvin off the glass, found the angle. Yeah. Guys like Zach Irvin, Amir Hinton, uh, Andrew White III tonight, doing a great job of moving, with, moving without the ball, finding ways to score. If you're just joining us, no two-way players for Westchester tonight. Kadeem Allen out with a concussion that he suffered last time out against Maine. And Kenny Wooten had surgery on his hand, which might take him out for the rest of the year. Irvin flips it to Moore, ready to shoot, firing away. Spalding trying to seal early. And he does, and he connects. In some ways, that pin of a big inside has been their best transition yeah. offense. Yeah, it is, uh, because they're not a good three-point shooting team. They only shoot 33%. So when you have a big like Spalding or Welsh, guys who shoot over 50% from the two, why not feed those guys and reward them down low and get easy buckets for your team? And, and, and what's the rub, essentially, defensively? The help isn't set up in a position? Defensively, you have to do your work early. Getting, knowing that those guys want to run early, so you got to do your job early, making sure to sure that the offensive guy is in front of you instead of instead of behind you. Bacon lowering the shoulder and again scoring inside the paint. 
He's playing with a different level of determination since picking up the technical. Zach Irvin. That was a straight line drive and a finish on the right side with that left hand. The last game that Greensboro Storm played against the Long Island Nets. The Long Island Nets went into the fourth quarter already with 101 points. It looks like Westchester could be getting that also. Amir Hinton makes the open look. Dante Ingram and now Spalding straight away. Hinton the board. Final minute of play. Hinton feeling good after the made three. Off the dribble. His pocket pass is kicked. job so far by Westchester keeping their foot on the gas knowing that Greensboro just played 48 hours ago really punishing them every time they come down on the court Iggy spinning kept the pivot foot spins Oof. back and knocks nice. it in it's a nice. 30 spot for Iggy yeah. the weld old machine he's he's oh right back at you Wayne Bacon, quiet in the crowd. Bacon's got 17 overall, nine of them in this quarter. Hinton spinning, using the glass. Tyler Hall, backcourt foul reaching in, wanted an extra Westchester possession. Knicks did have a foul to give, so it's side out for Greensboro. Meanwhile, Ignis Brasdakis, 11 of 16 from the floor, 30 points. 12 of them in this third. Yeah, he's definitely came to play today. You know, like you mentioned, he hasn't hit the 20 point mark the last two games. So coming out, reacting, and that's what Coach Austin wanted these guys to do is to react and play with a sense of urgency. So far, so good. Six seconds to go. Bacon rising up, no. Loose ball taken by Hinton. Third quarter complete as the heave is off target. Knicks by 21, matching its largest lead. Iggy Brasdakis effective in the third and overall. Westchester looking to close in the fourth and end the six game losing streak here on ESPN Plus.
Back here inside of the Westchester County Center, let's recap the scoring. 101-80 in favor of the Knicks. Dwayne Bacon with 17 to lead all Greensboro scores. Iggy Brazdakis with 30 to lead the Knicks. Ivan Rabb supporting him with 22. One of five in double figures for Westchester today. With Demetrius Nichols, who played in both the NBA and G League, I'm David Resnick. Knicks losers of five of six straight, trying to get back in the win column for the first time since before the All-Star break. And we talked about it before, a 20 point lead is, is nothing in the G League, in the NBA, so Westchester really has to come out in the fourth quarter with a chip on their shoulder. And not only that, it was in the second quarter that Greensboro played its best when both teams went to their benches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And usually their bench players are their best defensive players. So really have to come out on the high note. Getting a steal there, Ingram coast to coast and will shoot one free throw worth two. So this is a lineup for Greensboro that features Dante Ingram, Terry Henderson, Josh Perkins, Ray Spaulding, and for the first time, Tyler Nelson is in, playing the minutes that perhaps would have gone to Kobe Simmons. Ray Spaulding checking, or, uh, checking out for Ty Odiasi, who played well in that first half. The Westchester lineup is Andrew White the third, Lamar Peters, Zach Irvin, Amir Hinton, and Ivan Rabb. You want to get something good in this situation. That wasn't it. No. Picked up by Nelson, another chance here for the Swarm. And you don't want to give a, a team that's desperate like Greensboro Storm any type of confidence. As Andrew White goes down, maybe got need in the thigh. Same team rebound and Westchester coughed it up. Ah. White the third got Knocked around quite a bit there by Friendly Fire. Yeah, <laughs> by his teammate. <laughs> uh. At first, I thought it might have been a sensitive area, but he seemed to get knocked from behind and then hit in the head. Rab got the steal, and he wants to push. Amir Hinton, baseline. Oh, yeah. He's providing good energy tonight. Amir Hinton coming off the bench, not knowing if he was going to play, playing with a lot of energy, a lot of fire. Nelson, another long rebound. Perkins, tees it up, no. Coaching staff for Westchester telling the guys to run the off offense, get something good. Greensboro doesn't really have a rim protector, and so Westchester has felt free to make runs to the rim off the ball. So yes, they've yes, done a nice job. Backdoor cuts, wing cuts. Zach Irvin, Andrew White the third, Amir Hinton doing a really good job of, you know, putting themselves in a position to, to score. Good job by Amir Hinton, not giving up on defensive play, getting back, stealing the ball. Great passing, but White the third couldn't convert. Into Odiasi. Spinning Oof. on Rab and Ty with another bucket oh. to put him into double figures. That was a good move for Odiasi. He's not known for his turnaround 
jumper as Ivan Rab uses his left hand. He's really good with that offhand. He shows, really is. He shows a finesse with the left. Finesse with the left. Well, I like that one. Unintended, <laughs> but I'll finesse take it. with the left. All right. But it's it's interesting. Like his right, I guess his dominant hand mm -hmm. is his power hand. But then the, the floater with the left, yes. even even the finger roll, it's a real soft touch when he when he goes over that right shoulder. Very soft touch for a big. Now he's got an interesting game because. Rab. Yeah, yes. just because at this level, at 6'10", mm -hmm. he can play in the post with ease. Yep. You know, can he do that at the next level? That's a, I think, a jury still out on that mm -hmm. as a guy who's played three years out of college, two of them with Memphis where he played 85 games on a two-way contract earlier for New York this year. He did not see action in the NBA. Obviously, he's working on his three-point shooting. That has to be increased in today's NBA, but he's got an interesting skill set that just continues to grow with the work that he's put in over the last month. And I was going to mention also, you know, that pull-up game, right? You know, mm. the 25-footer or, you know, really, really close to the basket, turnaround jumpers. The three-point shot, you know, is something that he can get better at, but if he can hit the mid-range shot, he could definitely, definitely help himself at the next level and then get better stretching out to the three-point line. But so far, you know, he's been playing like one of the best bigs in the G League. Andrew White, the third, 0 of 5 from beyond the arc. Great closeout by Hinton. Oh, yeah. Recorded with the flush. Oh, yeah. That was easy. Amir Hinton. Man. That was easy for the young fella. Oh, letting the crowd know I got hops. That is a Philly strut <laughs> for the former D2 All-American. Yes. Throughout February, the NBA celebrates Black History Month by honoring those who paved the way for future generations. That tradition continues through league-wide efforts to bring people together and take action in our communities. Share how you are honoring Black History using hashtag BHM. if the Knicks can close. They have the comfortable lead. Another one by the big fella, Odiasi. Showing some skill down low. He has a good body, good size. Solid defender, averages one and a half block per game. Kick out, Peters sets, fires, at a rhythm. Odiasi, last time out, set a season high with 14 points. He's got 12, now two more Another to match one. it. Yeah. So a great road trip here for Odiasi through New York. 
as he scored 14 against Long Island, and now tonight on the road against Westchester has matched it. And it goes back to what you talked about earlier is, you know, the lights are always on. You know, you're playing, oh, as Ivan Rabb gets him back and says, look, all right, that's enough scoring. Let me score two. Rabb's got 26. The leader for Westchester is Brasdakis with 30. Oh, Perkins. Perculating. <laughs> uh, going back to what I was saying as Ivan Rabb gets the, re oh, not a rebound, but the loose ball, slams it home. But a guy like Odiasi, he's playing, like you said, for his next contract. He's playing for the future. And you never know who's watching. The lights are always on, so. That's so far, so good. That's a travel, right, Rab? Uh, it's a travel if he puts it back on the floor, if he bounces it. But if he catches it and puts it back up, I don't think that's a travel. Uh, maybe I'm just being biased because, you know, I'm a ball player. <laughs> so maybe you got a bonus if yeah. Westchester wins or something. <laughs> no, but it makes our job a little bit easier, you know. Puts us all in a better mood. Yes, it does. Winning clears everything. Hall off target. There's a section behind us that wants to see Tyler Hall make a basket. Perkins got bumped as he created the contact. You said it. He waited for Ivan Rab to get in, into the position, making sure Ivan Rab gave him a bump, throw the ball up, waiting for it. There you go. And... That could have been an offensive foul because you're basically – so it's premeditated. You right, know, but Rab wasn't in a legal guarding position. He I wasn't. Think. He I wasn't. That's basically that's – a, that's a tough call because yeah. the contact was initiated, mm -hmm. but it was in a player in, in motion and, you know, wasn't in a spot where he could take a foul. Correct. Midway through the fourth. Game is slow just a little bit. Peters again with the uh -oh. handles to Hickson, <laughs> climbing the ladder. Yes. That's how you entertain the crowd, young fella. That's how you do it. Amir Hinton with a couple of powerful slams. Yes. Odiasi backing down more for a season high 16. Amir Hinton really taking advantage of his time out on the court. Moore keeps it alive. JJ gets rejected. Odiasi with a nice defensive play. Great cut by Amir Hinton. Giving the crowd something to cheer for. Energy. 13 points, 15 minutes for Amir Hinton. Good job. Travel. Travel. Hinton's an interesting guy. I, I, I always like that about, him. about every, everything mm -hmm. around here. Don't know why. <laughs> but laterally on his driving he's not the quickest guy but his initial jump from a standing position is explosive yes he's very quick off his feet i'm not sure if he played football in high school but he kind of has that football mentality where he has a quick one two jump he's able to make cuts and find plays so far, so good for Amir, Amir Hinton. Earning Time. some minutes. Timeout called by DA. 13 point spread.
is the upcoming schedule for Westchester. They finish off a four-game homestand on Saturday against the Wisconsin Herd on NBAGLeague.com. Then they'll have some time off before heading to Oshkosh to play back-to-back -back contests with Wisconsin, followed by matchups with Canton, Raptors 905, and Delaware. We have two of those games coming here at home. If they can get three of those games, they put themselves in a pretty good position of still getting a chance to compete in the postseason. I appreciate your optimism. <laughs> it's still there. I mean, that's one of those things where recent history has dictated that it takes 26, 27 wins mm -hmm. to make the playoffs. Yeah. Frazdakis off the dribble, no. More flying in, but it's down to Bacon. So at 16 and 22, just win your last 11. Yeah. It's there. <laughs> Easier said than done. Nelson, corner pocket. I tend to agree. <laughs> However, <laughs> it's still there. Yes, it is. It is. Nelson is a flat-out three-point shooter. Westchester has to find him because he can get really, really hot. Irvin denied, but out to Peters. And he connects on a three. Nelson should be a name familiar to the local area basketball fan. He played his ball at Fairfield, where he was a star for the Stags. Former first team all max selection. Lamar Peters with a double-double of 16 points and 15 assists. Man, that's impressive. And he is setting. That is impressive. I'm checking now in a media guy, but I think it is. Yeah, I'm checking now. I think it is on record. It is a season high, and we are looking to confirm that it is a franchise record. Oh, yeah, use his body. Ooh, they call it the charge. Uh, and, I, and I don't know about that call because that's a call where you have two smaller guards going at it one another. Lamar Peters beating his opponent to the spot, using his body, not pushing off, not not using his elbow, just using his body, using his legs to create space. You know, that happens every couple of possessions in this game that we play. Bacon sticks it. Staring at an eight-point game with 3.40 to go. Westchester has to tighten up here. And really get a good look at the basket, get a good shot. Don't force anything. Good pass, good eye. That's 16 assists for Lamar Peters. Mm. Bacon, he's cooking. Lamar Peters had held the mark with Travis Trice, and now it is a single game high with 16 assists, setting a new franchise record. So it's 16 and 16 on the numbers for Peters. Bacon could not complete the three-point play. Peters has been on a tear in terms of the facilitation the last couple. 11 assists on Sunday. Look at that. Ooh. And he wanted to set up Rab for one more, but he got hacked. He's really making it a point tonight to, to look for that pass, that extra pass. He averages, what, nine assists? Maybe eight? Not sure. But he's definitely finding his, his teammates, using his eyes, eyes are up, looking for the best possible situation for his team. Peter's averaging 6.9 assists per game, top 10 in the league. 16 more tonight and really becoming that lead guard, especially again tonight, given the fact that Kadeem Allen is out. Timeout is called. We will stick around and look in on these huddles. 
What's the thought here, do you think, for Coach Alston when it comes to just wanting to close out a game? A couple of losses in this recent run where they've fell in triple overtime, you know, opportunities to close out games when they couldn't. And I'm pretty sure that's what he talked about, talked to his team about in the timeout where, look, hey guys, let's let's finish. Let's take good shots, let's, but most importantly, let's get stops. Let me, let's make it difficult for this Greensboro Swarm team as he tells his team to put up their hands and do their work early. Perkins missed the three-point opportunity. Nick should really be commended for the way they've defended Bacon when you consider during this losing streak, they gave up 47 to Levi Randolph. They gave up 43 to Trey Davis. Ivan Rab give him two more and a 30 spot. He's three shy of his season and career G League high. Uh-oh. Here comes Bacon. He's uh, sizzling? Yes, he's, I mean, you know, ever since he came back to the G League, he's been on fire and here in the fourth quarter, he's definitely heating up. Yes, big shot, big shot by Lamar Peters. Loose ball. Andrew White the third comes up with it. But he lost it to Greensboro, and Ingram can lay it in to keep this thing open. 140 remaining. Lamar Peters having a fantastic game. Really setting the tone. Iggy using his body, his shoulders, posting up. Lamar Peters adding to his assists. Doing a great job being a leader out there on the floor, doing everything, shooting threes, passing, scoring, seeing the mismatch, Iggy using his body. So far, so good for the West Chester Knicks. Peters with 18 assists to go along with 19 points. Brad Dakis with 34. Too shy of his career high. Ivan Rab with 33, or with uh, 30, excuse me. Three short of his career high and 11 rebounds. So another double double. And Rab had seven in a row before the streak was snapped, and so he now has one more. So I'm trying to get a three here. Bounces right back to Bacon. Off the glass, no. Out of bounds, stays with Greensboro. Good defense for the Knicks. Lips out for Perkins, approaching a minute to go. Let's see if Amar Peters can add to the record that he's currently holding. Behind the back to Rab. Ivy driving oh, in and it stays down. Most assists this season in a single game, Brandon Fields with 21. Mm -hmm. So Peters Given the assist there, too short on the drive by Rab. That was some hometown official booking. 14 point lead, 30 seconds to go. So on a night where Lamar Peters sets a franchise record with 19 assists. He fires from three, no good. Iggy, the offensive rebounds. He'll look to dribble it out. 
the shot clock will expire before the game clock. But the Knicks are seconds away from securing a victory. So Iggy with 34, Rab with 32 and 12. Lamar Peters with 19 and 19. Incredible effort. Bacon launching from half court. It's off target. Westchester sweeps the season series against Greensboro. They won all four games against the Swarm. Tonight, it's 129-115. Just the type of game, frankly, D-Nick, and performance that Westchester needed. Yes, it is, and it's a record-breaking game for Lamar Peters. 19 assists, like you talked about, 19 points, but you had other guys like Iggy Bradaskis, uh, Ivan Rabb having over 30 points, Amir Hinton 10 points off the bench on the 15 minutes. So guys came to play today, guys played with a chip on their shoulder, and all the hard work paid off. They stepped on the gas early. They kept their foot on the gas throughout every quarter, and that's what happened in the focus for the whole 48 minutes. Westchester will try to build a winning streak on Saturday as Wisconsin comes to town. It's a 5 o'clock start on NBAGLeague.com. Six-game losing streak is over as Westchester takes down Greensboro 129-115. For Demetrius Nichols and our entire Lineker Media crew, I'm David Resnick. Good night from White Plains. Copyrighted telecast of the NBA G League may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise used in any form.